y'all. It's Nona. And today I'm here with my Do I Still Love It for August 2021. And in this video, I will talk about the products that I used this month in my Shop My Stash. And I will let you know how I feel about them. Uh, if they're any good, would I repurchase? Uh, would I want to pan them? Etc. Etc. So let's start off. I'll start with the setting spray. This is by Amuse, and it's the Set in Stone Setting Spray. This has a really nice mister. Uh, it's very affordable. Amuse is one of the cheaper brands. Um, I've only ever found it online. I've never found it for sale in any stores. Um, this does have a scent, and it reminds me, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but when I was in, like, middle school, Aussie had a hairspray that smelled like grapes. This reminds me of that with just a hint of cough syrup. <laughs> and it's not unpleasant to me. Um, I loved the smell of that hairspray, so I don't mind the scent. Now, it does dissipate. It doesn't last. But it is pretty strong when you first spray it. Um, I would say for longevity of makeup, this does say it's got a matte finish and it's oil controlling. Um, I don't know that it's oil controlling. But I do think that it made my uh, makeup stay on longer and look better. So, and, and it's pretty cheap. So, yeah, I like it. The next thing we'll talk about are the two foundation products I used. I used this number seven City Light Tinted Moisturizer. This does have a SPF of 15 in it. And it says it's suitable for sensitive skin. Uh, it was in Fair. And this was a really good color for me. Uh, this felt like... Um, like a lotion going on. Um, obviously, it's a moisture tinted moisturizer. Um, it had little to no coverage, which again, it's a tinted moisturizer. I did notice that it it, it toned down my uh, redness a bit, and then I went in with a concealer and to to help with that even more. Um, I did like this. Um, I am a full coverage. Uh, matte girl so tinted moisturizers really aren't my thing my friend Tara had sent this to me to try because she loves number seven products I do want to get into lighter coverage but like I said I just have such a red face and it's just I'm very self-conscious about it and I just want it covered up and lighter complexion products just just don't do that for me um but by the time I added concealer and powder it looked pretty nice. Um, I, I did not hate it. <laughs> I, I, I think if you like tinted moisturizers, you would probably enjoy this one. Uh, and then I went with a second tinted moisturizer this time because it is summer. And again, I'm attempting to go a little lighter with foundation products because it's so, so hot here in Southwest Oklahoma. You just step outside and you just melt, literally melt. This is the Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer. I got this in, I believe, BoxyCharm. Um, and this one, the color is not on it, but it's dark. It looked dark. I was scared when I applied it, but it blended out because I guess it has such little coverage that, uh, it didn't look bad on my skin. Um, this one smells, it has a pump and it smells like, um, coconuts to me. Um, I love that scent. So I did not mind that at all. Again, this has like a lotiony texture. Um, this one is, I want to say 30 something dollars. And in all honesty, I really didn't see that much difference between it and the number seven. So, I mean, I would, I'm not the, the uh, best person to rate, uh, lighter coverage face, you know, base products. But I would say if, if you know, uh, tinted moisturizers are not really your favorite, your thing, I would go for a more cost-effective <laughs> one than spending a lot of money on something that doesn't have a lot of coverage. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy, but it just seems a little wasteful to me. I mean, it wasn't bad, you know. I will use it eventually. And uh, so as far as tinted moisturizers go, I don't really have any complaints about either. Uh, then I used my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I love this stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kat Von D, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're done with that situation. This is amazing. If you like full coverage, if you like matte, this is awesome. I love it. Um, 
I don't know if they still make this now that they're KVD Vegan Beauty. I'm not sure. Um, I do have a backup of this. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so, you know, she might be just, you know, canceled, uh, but she's no longer associated with the brand from what I hear. And uh, this might even be a discontinued product, but I like it a lot. So I think it's great coverage. It's good consistency. And um, it does everything I want it, a concealer to do. So uh, then I use the Makeup Forever Step 1 uh, Skin Equalizer. This is a primer. And it says it's mattifying. And I do agree. This is mattifying. And I really, really like it. I want the full size of it. Uh, this is the first time I've ever tried it. Um, I heard about it years ago. People were loving it. And... Um, it was like, you know, a holy grail for a lot of people four, five, six years ago, probably, maybe longer. And I just now got around to trying it, and I absolutely love it. It does mattify. Um, that I would definitely purchase this in the full size. I just, I really like it a lot. For powder this time, I used the AOA Perfect Setting Powder. This is the Translucent Matte. Um this does have a white a white cast if you are um a darker uh, skin tone i don't think you would like this i think it might look ashy on you but i'm you know pale as a ghost besides the redness i have and i love this powder i think it is so silky it's soft it's it almost feels like cornstarch to me you know how cornstarch has that slip like when you put it on a baby's butt or whatever it almost feels like that to me um, I absolutely love it. It's from Shop Miss A. It's their in-house brand, the AOA Studio, and this is $1, and I, I love it. I have this in the matte translucent, regular translucent, and I have it in banana. I just, I really, really like it a lot. Highly recommend. Um, okay, let's do these. These are the Wet n Wild, um, highlighters this these are really old this is when they did the collab with Fergie I think they've repackaged these without her name on it and possibly changed the name this one is called Hollywood Boulevard and it is swatched right here and it is gold it's really pretty you can blend it out it is pretty fierce pretty right there in your face I mean, it glows. It really does. I like it. It's a nice formula. Um, these are pretty cheap. I also use this one from the same line, and it is the Rosé Champagne Glow. And it's more of a peachy pink. It's right here. It's a little dark for me, but I can get away with it. Again, very nice, very pretty. Um, I believe these are baked. Yeah, they're baked, and I like them. They're soft. They're 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 nice. They're really nice. I got like I said. I think you can still get them, but I don't think it's with the Fergie packaging. It's um, so yeah, I like them. Okay, let's move on to bronzers. I use this Believe Beauty. You get this at Dollar General. It's their in-house brand, and everything in their line is five dollars or less. This one is in the Tropics Bronzing Powder in Tahitian Sun. This is, um, it's a little bit uh, satin to me. It's not really glowy, but it's definitely not matte. It's this one right here. And it is, it does pull a little orange. I will say that. It pulls a little orange for me. Um, but the formula is really nice. It's really smooth. I think this costs $4. Um, I highly recommend the Believe Beauty brand. If you if you have a Dollar General near you, I would suggest you try it, especially the foundation. Um, I love the foundation. So that's a good bronzer. Then I use this Ulta Matte Bronzer in Warm. And it is definitely matte. It's right here. It is not orange at all. I really like the tone of it. It blends really nice. It almost feels creamy on the skin. And I really, I really do like it. I do. Uh, a friend of mine sent me this. I can't remember who, but I'm glad they did because I really like that. Okay, then let's do blushes. This is the Oriza or Oriza Beauty. I got this in oh, Boxy or Ipsy. Y'all, it runs together and I can't remember. This is an ombre, ombre blush in Malibu Sunrise. 
really pretty. I just mix my brush around the whole thing and it comes out to this really pretty apricot orangey color. I love orange tone blushes. So I think it's beautiful. It's a really smooth formula. Um, it's matte. I, I really like it. Um, I really do. Then I had the Fantastic Plastic Pink. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is, is an older blush in their line, and I'm believing they discontinued this, and they, they're making them in round containers now. So these went to the Dollar Tree, and I was looking for this one because I think I have all of them in the uh, set except this color, and my friend Andrea found it, and she sent it to me, so I'm super excited. And this is it right here, and it is definitely Barbie Pink. It has some sparkles in it, and you can definitely see them on the skin. I think you can see it right there. So if you don't like sparkles, you probably won't like that. But uh, I like it. It's really pigmented, so you, you want to be careful with it for sure. Uh, I like Wet n Wild blushes and uh, face powders and, and whatnot, so I really enjoy it. And thank you so much for sending it to me, Andrea. Okay, so let's move on. I've made a mess with this blue lipstick, but... Uh, Okay, I'm going to do this. This is the ColourPop Brow Pencil, and it is in mm, dark brown, and it's right here. It's nice. The formula is, is nice. Uh, it's a thin pencil. I like it. It sort of pulls. It looks a little green on me when I, when I first put it on, but once it darkens down, it's a really nice, cool color. Um, I don't have any problems with it. I don't find it to be waxy or, or too creamy. Uh, I think it's just right there in the middle. I like it. It's a, a, affordable. Um, so, yeah, no problems with it. Then I used the uh, Beauty Creations Dare to be Bright Gel Pencil in Shamrock. It's this green right here. These are gorgeous. I used it with my uh, Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette in a look I did this month. And uh, I love it. I, I would say these are comparable to the LA Girl uh, Shockwave Neon Liners that I love so much. Um, I think they're close to the same price. Um, but these are really nice. They stayed in my waterline for a good length of time. They're really pigmented, showed up. I mean, you, really nice, gorgeous, smooth. I, I really like it. I also used the one in Mango Tango from that line, and it is bright orange and just stunning. I used this one when I used the uh, Ace Beauté Flare Palette, and same thing. I loved it. It was great. Um, I used this red lipstick. It is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Kiss of Fire. I used it with the Flare Palette, and I really liked it. I'm not one who wears a lot of red lippies, but I don't know. I just felt like stepping out of my comfort zone, so I did use this, and I, I enjoyed it. It looked really nice with the look. Um, and then I used this Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Royal. It's right here, but I'm, I messed it all up but uh, before it dried. But this blue is so bright and pretty. I used it with the Oceanic Palette, and um, I went to the doctor that day, and I wore that look to the doctor. And y'all, I got so many compliments on it. I was shocked. I thought people were gonna be looking at me crazy, but no. I got so many compliments. I was thrilled. Okay, so let's go over these face palettes real quick. I'm not going to do any swatches of these because I talked about them in my uh, It's All About the Face collab with my friend Tara. And uh, so, anyways, I used the Black Light Highlighting Six Color Palette. I got this from BH Cosmetics. It was on sale for half price, and I got it for $9, and I've been wanting it for years and years. And has these really pretty, uh, colorful highlighters. This one is definitely more of a blush topper to me. I use this really pretty blue one when I use the Oceanic palette. I really like it. Uh, there's one that shifts green, one that shifts purple. Just really, really nice and huge pans of product. So I think they're really good. Um, a little powdery. It's just an old school powder highlighter. If that you know, if you like those, I think you'll like these. And then this one is the Spotlight Highlight Six Color Palette, and it just has more wearable shades. Uh, this one is more of a, like a bronze topper to me. This one's more of a blush topper, but it has a more uh, white, a champagne, a gold, a peach. Uh, I think that, you know, several different skin, to skin tones could use this because there's more darker, there's more mid-tone, there's lighter. And again, I really like them. I thought they were really nice. And the last two things are the palettes I used. I used the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. I picked both of these up in the Boxy Pop-Up 
or add-ons. I get those confused. And I think they were $9. And I've wanted these for literally years. So when I saw them in there, I had to grab them. But this color story is just so me. Um, I did a look using most of the orange tones. And I absolutely loved it. This is pigmented. It's blendable. It's really pretty. The um, shimmers are nice. The mattes are nice. I didn't find them to be very to be patchy or anything like that. I really didn't have any trouble using this palette, and I really liked the look that I created with it. And then this is the Ace Beauté Oceanic. Everybody and their mother loves this palette because this color story is gorgeous. Blue is my quote-unquote scary color, but I did a blue and green look with this. And again, this is the look I wore when I went to the doctor, and everyone complimented me on it. Everyone loved it. I, uh, I used the brighter greens. I used this blue, um, this in my inner corner and this I just it was a really pretty look now uh, it you know it was really dramatic it was it was a dark look it was bam in your face uh, but I really enjoyed it and I I really want to do a, a look with these more uh, olive tones I think that would be such a pretty look so anyways that's everything if you like these types of videos please like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video love to all talk to you soon bye bye